Hey there everyone, so OpenAI has released a new model in the API that is OpenAI Codex Mini. So it's a fine-tuned version of Ofo Mini High, basically targeted to use in OpenAI Codex CLI. Anyways, let's have a comparison between these two models to see if we are able to actually measure any difference. Let's first look at the pricing of these models. So if you look at the pricing, it's $1.50 per million input tokens and $6 per million output tokens. And on Ofo Mini High, it's $1.10 per million input tokens and $4.40 per million output tokens. So the pricing is kind of very close. If you look at the context, both have 200k context. With that being said, let's get into the testing guys. Let's get to the first coding question. So the first question is, can you code a dragon using HTML, CSS and JS? Show side view of the dragon and give your best implementation in one single code. Let's send this to both models and let's see what they come up with. Most probably they should give us a very bad response because you know OpenAI models are not very good when it comes to front-end aesthetics. Okay we have got the responses from both models. Let's open up in their respective HTML online viewer. So let's preview that. Okay so this is what OpenAI Codex Mini has come up with. Let's see. Let's see what uh, Ofo Mini High has come up with. Let's open up HTML viewer and Let's preview and I think both are very identical guys. So saying which one is the winner is kind of difficult. <laughs> I'll leave it to you guys. You tell me which one is the best. Anyways, let's move to the next question. The next question is build absolutely the best implementation of the Super Mario game in a web page without using ex any external assets and in one single code. Let's send this and let's see what they come up with. Okay, everyone, we have got the responses. Let's start with Ofo Mini High. Let's open up HTML viewer. Let's paste the code and let's preview it. And okay, that is a working game, I guess. It is a very basic implementation. I have to say that and you know, we are not able to take the power up over here. Anyways, this is what Ofo Mini High has come up with. Now let's look at Codex Mini. Let's copy the code, open up HTML viewer. Let's paste it and let's preview it. Okay, so that looks comparatively better guys. And it also has volume. That's nice. Okay, I think uh, I lost. Let's play that once again. Let's see if we are able to actually take the power ups. Okay, the power ups are actually working guys. You can see if I jump, we can we are able to take the power ups. So I think comparatively it's a better response guys, purely on the basis of aesthetics. That's a win for Codex Mini. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is create a JavaScript animation of falling letters with realistic physics. Let's see what they come up with. Okay everyone, we have got the responses. Let's start with Ofo Mini High. Let's copy the code, open up HTML viewer. Let's paste the code and okay, we do see a ball but there are no letters guys although the ball is falling realistically that is kind of okay let's see what codex mini has come up with let's open up html viewer paste it and okay we do have a ball but it's not falling and uh, yeah i think comparatively ofo mini high was actually better in this one although it's a fail for both let's move on to the next question okay everyone we are getting into python so the question is write python code for a horoscope with an opening there are two balls inside it and whenever a ball exits, two new balls appear. Let's see which one gives us a better response. Okay, we have got the responses. Let's start with Ofo Mini High. Let's copy the code. Let's paste that and let's run it. Okay, right off the back, we can see that we see two openings mentioned. So one is open and other one is mentioned in this way. And I think the, the one on the upside is actually the real one and that's kind of a bummer. Anyways, this is what Ofo Mini High has come up with. Let's close this and let's move on to codex mini let's copy the code let's paste that and let's run it okay we do see two balls and also they are different in size let's see what happens when one ball exits so clearly now a ball exiting and okay we have one new ball appearing and uh, i think for some weird reason they are just uh, grouping together at the top we all we see the number of balls and also the number of particles that is not something that we asked for anyways it has clearly mentioned one opening instead of two so comparatively i would say that openai codex response was actually better that's a win for openai codex let's move to the next question so the next question is design a python program that simulates earth rotation let's see which one gives us a better response okay everyone we have got the responses let's start with ofo mini high let's copy the code let's paste that and let's run it and okay that's a fail guys we actually got an error meanwhile let's see what codex mini has come up with let's copy the code let's paste that and let's run it and okay that did run but uh, i think uh, we are just seeing a black screen and nothing else so i'll have to say that that's a fail for both models guys because even though it's running in codex mini but we don't see anything let's move on to the next question 
question. So let's ask them to create a state of the art Pac-Man game. Let's see what they come up with. Let's send this to both models. Okay, everyone, we have got the responses. Let's start with O4 Mini High. Let's copy the code. Let's paste it and let's run it. Okay, so we see a very basic board, guys. I mean, like it's actually very basic. And uh, what else to say? We are able to eat the pellets and that kills the ghost. That's nice. But other than that, it's a very basic implementation guys okay if we go to the ghost game over so that's a very basic implementation let's see what codex mini has come up with let's paste the code let's run it and okay so comparatively the maze is a bit bigger but other than that i mean yeah again it's pretty much very basic let's see if we are actually able to eat the ghost so we are able to eat them that's nice okay so game over that's a very basic implementation guys so telling which one is the best is kind of difficult both were kind of equal let's move on to the next question okay so this is going to be the final question let's ask them to make a music equalizer let's see if they're actually able to do that let's send this question to both models and let's wait for their responses okay everyone we have got the responses from both models and you can see the difference actually if you look at ofo mini high's response we just got the code whereas in codex mini we got readme.md file and everything so that's the part of fine tuning i guess we'll be talking about that later but before that let's actually run it let's copy the code let's paste that and let's run it okay so this is the visualizer let me open up a music let's use this music let's open it up okay the music is loading let's hit play okay that actually got crashed guys so i think that's a fail from mofo mini high anyways let's see what codex mini has come up with let's copy the code let's paste that and let's run it okay we have got the music visualizer let's open up a music let's open this one okay so the music has started to play i didn't even hit the play button the music is playing but nothing is visible guys let's hit stop okay it stops let's play let's pause okay the buttons are working but other than that i think the visualization which was the main task that is not working so the main task was visualization that is not working guys so based on what we have seen what can we say so clearly we can see that uh, there's not much difference we have seen in all of the questions the performance was very close and there is no big step up in coding even though it's fine-tuned the thing where it actually performs different is i think in the formatting you can see it you know it gives readme.md files and also in some of the previous responses you know at the start it was mentioning that you know i didn't find anything in the repo and everything so it is more aligned towards you know the codex cli interface that openai has launched so the raw coding performance is quite similar to ofo mini high i did think that since it's just fine-tuned on coding we might have seen some improvement but uh, that doesn't seem to be any so that was the comparison guys i hope i was able to give you a truthful comparison with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one